right, here we go. Let's talk about the sine, cosine, tangent values of some basic angles inside of the unit circle. The sine of zero degrees and the cosine of zero degrees and the tangent of zero degrees are all going to come from these basic definitions of sine, cosine, and tangent. So we, we have to always keep those in mind, right? Sine being opposite over hypotenuse, cosine being adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent being opposite over adjacent. So as we continue to revert back to this unit circle that we've hopefully become so familiar with, we are going to, when we look at the sine of 30 degrees, for example, think about this in terms of a right triangle, hypotenuse of 1. Sine is the y value divided by the hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. So the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. The cosine of 30 degrees, cosine being adjacent, that's the x value. You go over from the origin, you go over radical 3 over 2 and then up 1 half. So the cosine is the x value, the sine is the y value in all of these points. If we start with the sine of 0, the sine of 0 is right here, right? Really simple the sine of zero is zero, right? We haven't gone up and down any if we're at zero degrees. So the sine of zero is zero. The cosine of zero is one. It's right there, it's the x value. The tangent, if you remember the tangent, is sine divided by cosine. So the tangent of zero degrees is the sine of zero degrees, which is zero, divided by the cosine of zero degrees. So the tangent of zero degrees is also zero. So let's put those three in here. Sine is sine of zero is zero, cosine is one, tangent is zero. And we'll come back to these three in a minute. The sine of 30 degrees we said was one half. So I'll put that here. The cosine of 30 is radical three over two. And the tangent of 30 is this divided by this. So that's going to take maybe a little bit of arithmetic. So let's go down here. 1 half divided by radical 3 over 2. Well, it's a compound fraction, so I like to write them sideways. Keep it, switch it, and flip, it to, flip that thing over. So I switch it to multiplication and flip this over. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. The twos cancel, and we're left with 1 over radical 3. You can't leave a radical in the denominator, so we're going to rationalize, multiply top and bottom by radical 3. So my answer is radical 3 over this product, which is just 3. So the tangent of 30 degrees is radical 3 over 3. All right, and keep in mind that this is pi over 6 radians. This is 0 radians. This is pi over 4 radians. This is pi over 3 radians. This is pi over 2 radians. We might even talk about 180 degrees, which is pi radians as well. <clears throat> the sine of 45 degrees, or pi over 4. Well, again, if we think about this in terms of our right triangles, right, which we talked about in our detailed unit circle video, which I just posted, this is radical 2 over 2. Radical 2 over 2, that's how we get this x and y value. Our hypotenuse is 1. So the sine of that is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which is radical 2 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is the same thing. It's the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So I'll put those two values down here. The tangent of 45 is the sine divided by the cosine, which is just 1. Right, tangent's always going to be, if you remember, opposite over adjacent. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that's why it's defined that way as sine over cosine, because sine is opposite, cosine is adjacent. In the unit circle, it's really nice because our hypotenuse is 1, so we don't ever have to really worry about sine being opposite over hypotenuse. It's just opposite because the hypotenuse is 1. It doesn't change the value of it. So the tangent is simply opposite over adjacent, 
or sine over cosine. As we get to 60 degrees, right, 60 degree triangle, if we draw that one in here, right, and we did this in real great detail in the last video, but I'll go really quickly here. We've got ourselves a 30, 60, 90, where 60 is in this corner, this is one, and we said, okay, the shorter distance here is one half, the longer distance is radical three over two. So if I ask you the sine of 60 degrees, it's opposite over hypotenuse, radical three over two. The cosine of 60 degrees is the adjacent, which is just one half. All right, the sine value is always the y value, the cosine value is always the x value. The tangent would be radical three over two divided by one half. So the tangent of 60 degrees is radical three over two over one half. Well, the twos just cancel out and we get radical three. So I'll put those values in here. And I'm ready to move on to pi over two radians or 90 degrees. So as we go to this one, you can't really make a right triangle out of this because you know, think about it, you would have a right triangle right here, you can't do that because it's just impossible. So when we go up 90 degrees from there, right, all you have to do is just rely on sine being the y value. So here's sine of 90 degrees. Sine of 90 degrees is one, and cosine of 90 degrees is zero. Cosine is the x value, sine is the y value. Tangent of 90 degrees is always sine divided by cosine. Well, you can't divide by zero, so that's undefined. Tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. This is one, zero, and undefined. Now this last column, let's fill this in now. The sine in terms of the unit circle is the y value. The cosine is the x value. The tangent is sine divided by cosine. So there you go. And, and at this point, it's probably worth mentioning some very uh, cool and useful patterns. To memorize this, you can go radical 0 over 2, radical 1 over 2, radical 2 over 2, radical 3 over 2, and radical 4 over 2. So you look at it just 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you simplify, if you simplify the radical 0 over 2, that's just 0. Radical 1 over 2, that's just 1 half. This doesn't simplify. This doesn't simplify. Radical 4 is 2. 2 over 2 is just 1. All right, so there's some kind of a shortcut there. The cosine is exactly the opposite. It's radical 4 over 2, radical 3 over 2, radical 2 over 2, radical 1 over 2 and radical 0 over 2. It goes in the opposite direction, descending 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And then just simplify them, and that's where we get all those values from. All right, so I'm going to erase all those and get it back to where I want it. I'll pause it. All right, so it's back to normal. Now let's talk about these reciprocal functions. These are cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So the cosecant is defined as the sort of reciprocal of the sine. So where sine was opposite over hypotenuse, the cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite. The secant, let me erase some of this other stuff here, get it out of the way. The secant is the reciprocal of cosine. Reciprocal of cosine. So where the cosine was adjacent over hypotenuse, the secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. And COT is cotangent. The cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. These are your three reciprocal functions. So where the tangent was defined as opposite over adjacent, the cotangent is going to be adjacent over opposite. And in this chart, it's pretty simple to calculate each one. The cosecant of zero degrees is one divided by this value, because as you know, the sine and cosecant are directly related to each other, they're reciprocals. So it's one over zero. Well, you can't divide by zero, so that is undefined. 
the cosecant of 30 degrees right here is going to be 1 divided by 1 half. Well, 1 over 1 half, that's just 2. So I'll put 2 in there. The cosecant of 45 degrees is 1 over the sine of 45 degrees. 1 over radical 2 over 2. Let's simplify that. 1 divided by radical 2 over 2. Keep it, switch it, flip it. So this is 2 over radical 2. Can't leave the radical in the denominator, so let's rationalize. Multiply top and bottom by radical 2. So I get 2 radical 2 over just 2. The 2's cancel, and we, we are left with just radical 2. So the cosecant of 45 degrees is just radical 2. Cosecant of 60 degrees is 1 over this value, 1 over that value. So let me erase some of this, and we'll work through it. Let me get rid of some of these. So it's 1 over radical 3 over 2. 1 divided by radical 3 over 2. Keep it, switch it, flip it. So it's 2 root 3. 2 over root 3, I should say. Rationalize, and we get 2 radical 3 over 3. So that's the cosecant of 60 degrees. 2 root 3 over 3. Cosecant of 90 degrees is 1 divided by this value, which is just 1. And the unit circle definition of cosecant is 1 over y. The secant is directly connected to cosine. They're reciprocals of each other. So every value here is going to be 1 over this value. 1 over this value. 1 over this value. All right, so you just kind of go through and figure it all out. Just reciprocate all those fractions. And it turns out that they're all sort of repeating from this, the cosecant. They're just kind of backwards. So 1 over 1, well that's just 1. 1 over 3 rat, 1 divided by 3 over 2. I think we did that below, right? That ended up to be 2 root 3 over 3. And we're going to see some symmetry come back here in a second. All right, 1 over 2 over radical 2. Remember, 1 divided by radical 2 over 2. So that came out to be keep it, switch it, flip it. All right, this is familiar. 2 over radical 2. Let's rationalize, and we get 2 radical 2 over 2, which is just radical 2. And that's kind of nice because it's the same thing right here. All right, 1 over 1 half, well, that's just 2. And 1 over 0, you can't do. It's undefined. The unit circle of the secant is 1 divided by the cosine, which is x. And lastly, we're just about finished. The tangent and the cotangent are reciprocals, so 1 over all of these values. Oh, before I get into this, the... I wanted to talk about the uh, symmetry here, right? If we look at the symmetry, we already mentioned the symmetry of the sine and cosine, right? This and this connect. This and this connect. The sine of 30 and the cosine of 60 are the same. These are both the same. The sine of 60 and the cosine of 30 are the same. The sine of 90 and the cosine of 0 are the same. And same goes for cosecant and secant, right? This is undefined. This is undefined. This is 2, this is 2. These are the same. This and this are the same. This and this are the same. So there's a nice symmetry there. The cotangent is 1 over tangent. So 1 over 0, can't do that. 1 over, one over this thing. All right, let's take that down here and we'll simplify it. We haven't seen this one yet, so let's go ahead and simplify it. And I'm proving to you that you don't really need to memorize these. You just kind of need to know where they come from. This is 1 over radical 3 over 3. 1 divided by radical 3 over 3. Keep it, switch it to multiplication, flip it over. So it's 3 over radical 3. Can't leave it that way. So let's multiply top and bottom by radical 3. So we're left with 3 root 3 over 3. The 3's cancel, leaving us with just, oops, wrong spot, leaving us with just radical 3. Cotangent of 45 degrees 
is 1 divided by this thing. That's just 1. Cotangent of 60 degrees is 1 over radical 3. It's 1 over radical 3. So that's going to be 1 divided by radical 3. Let's rationalize. And we get radical 3 over 3. The cotangent of 90 degrees is going to be 1 over undefined. That's kind of crazy. But think about this, right? If tangent is sine divided by cosine, cotangent is going to be cosine divided by sine. All right, and you can do that for the other, for this value and this value, all those values. So it's cosine over sine. It's cosine over sine, x over y. So 0 over 1, a lot of my students struggle with this particular box, but 0 over 1 is just 0. It's cosine over sine. All right, so there you go. And all those values, like I said, sort of correspond to all of these triangles inside of our unit circle. Everything kind of hopefully is going to make more sense to you if you understand the connection between that angle chart below that we just filled out and the unit circle. Uh, if we wanted to talk about the uh, 180, right, if we wanted to say, okay, what's the, uh, what's the sine of 180 degrees or the sine of pi radians? All right, it would just be the y value right there. It's the y value. The cosine of 180 is the y value right here. Or excuse me, the x value. Sorry, I said that wrong. And the tangent of 180 is 0 over negative 1. All right, so hopefully everything is beginning to click for you. If you wanted to go down into this third quadrant, which we'll do in our next video, we're sort of leaning, we're, we're getting towards like, all right, how do we figure out the, uh, you know, the cosine of 135 or the tangent of 225 or the sine of 330 or even, you know, bigger angles that kind of go around maybe a couple times and then end up at this same position. All right, if it's coterminal with 330, how do we figure that out? How do we figure out that, that sine or cosine or tangent value there? And we'll, we'll do that next, uh, coming up in our next uh, couple videos here. But anyway, those are the reference angles. It's a really important chart to know. And uh, you don't really have to memorize it if you know how to get it and where it all comes from and the connections and stuff. Uh, but if you if you were to memorize anything, just memorize these two rows and then know how to get tangent from sine and cosine. Know how to get cosecant from sine. Know how to get secant from cosine. Know how to get cotangent from tangent. So if you must memorize, and I don't necessarily recommend doing it, I th I want you, I'd rather you know it than memorize it. But if you must memorize, just memorize those two, right? Remember those patterns I showed you: zero, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, zero. Memorize those, and then the rest should you should be able to derive uh, as you go. But anyway, thanks for watching. Those were the uh, trig function values at the at the five or six basic angles in our in our unit circle. Uh, in the next video, we're going to, like I said, move into quadrants two, three, and four and figure out sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent of all of those values. So uh, thanks for watching.